right there, Latin 2. We are on chapter 33. We're going to do the glossary. It might be three videos. We'll see. Uh, there's a lot of vocab in this one, so it's a lot of fun. Um, a lot of it is just very specialized stuff, though, like dinner type uh, information and what have you. So we'll start on page 49. Mulsum mulsi. Okay, and this is just wine sweetened with honey. The Romans had all kinds of wines, and this one was sweetened with honey. Um, there used to be a word that I knew. Uh, there might actually be a modern equivalent of this, but as I don't drink, I don't know. Uh, the next one, ferculum ferculi. Okay, now this is a neuter. Uh, it's not to be confused with ferulu or ferula. Okay, so ferculum in the plural is fercula. And these are serving dishes. Okay, so big platters. You could actually just say platter. I'm okay with that. Um, but uh, they also meant it, you know, as for little or plates too. Uh, but more importantly, um, uh, if you leave out the C, you're actually saying canes, like things that you people used to walk. So you really want to make sure that you're spelling this one right. Uh, the next one is gustatio, gustationis. Uh, this is very similar to a lot of thirds that do the yo, yonis. Um, usually they're feminine. Not always, but usually. Uh, but gustatio is hors d'oeuvres. Uh, hors d'oeuvres, uh, hors d'oeuvres is first course, appetizers, it's your bloomin' onion. Um, this is where we get uh, words that have to do with gustation. Okay, not gestation, that's a little further lower. Uh, gustation, it's up in the stomach. Uh, niger, nigra, nigrum. Uh, this is, means black. Okay, uh, the Romans didn't have that many words for colors, so there's a few other words for uh, the word black. Ater being one of them. Uh, but this is usually in reference to like the black that an olive is. Um, so first off, you will see that this absolutely informs French and Spanish, right? So when the French conquered and stole parts of Africa, they named one area Niger, okay? Because they didn't have any imagination whatsoever, and they looked at the people, and they're darker than us, therefore it's black. Uh, this is also why on crayons it says negro in Spanish. So you get a lot of words that uh, deal with that, um, and you can at least see the... Um, the linguistic antecedents to some horrible, horrible terms. Uh, the next word, boletus, boleti. Now, I don't eat mushrooms very often, uh, but I've been told that this is still a type of mushroom that we now have. Uh, the next one is liquamen, liquaminis. Now, this is a neuter, and very often we've seen words that are in the neuters um, that are thirds. Oh, so they end in the N and then go to inis, right? Now, this is what's called garum. Garum is a fish sauce, uh, and uh, it's um, they have something similar to this actually in Vietnamese cuisine, uh, but the Romans would ferment it, and I've got a whole recipe for how to do it. It's It sounds really gross, but the Romans loved it. Uh, in fact, there was a shipwreck that was recently found that had like jars and jars and jars of garum. Uh, the next one, aspersus a um. Uh, this means sprinkled. This is actually what's called a perfect passive participle. I will give you a lesson about that very shortly, uh, but it comes from the verb uh, aspergo aspergra, which is to sprinkle or to spatter. Uh, so this is sprinkled, that which has been sprinkled. Uh, res urbani, rerum urbanarum. So res urbani are city things, city affairs, the, the gossip of the city. Okay. Uh, the next, and so it's just literally urbanus aum with res, and since res is feminine, and since res here is plural. You know, it fits. Pestilentia, pestilentiae, means plague. It's where you get the word pestilence from. Uh, obviously, it's where you get the word pest from, okay? Uh, poculum, poculi. Uh, this is a goblet. Don't translate it as a cup. Translate it as a goblet. So it's one of those uh, cups that you see sold in novelty stores, usually with a bad word written across the front. Uh, let's see. Locus, loci. Uh, this means place. This is the locus is the center of a circle. Uh, it's where the compass hits down and then draws the circle. Uh, location, obviously. Uh, the locative case, we'll get into later. Um, so there's a lot of words that have to do with this. Popina, popinai. Uh, this is an eating house or an inn slash bar. Uh, and I always think of it as like, oh, I'm just going to pop in an inn, right? So I'm going to pop in an eating place. So it's essentially like... Uh, you know, like streets of London pub, that kind of thing. And then at the bottom of this page is Edo esse edi esum. 
Uh, now, I, I really like this because if you look at the infinitive, it's the same as uh, sum esse. And there's a reason for this, and it's called rotoration. And that's like a 15-minute discussion we can have in public someday, uh, or like, you know, person to person. Uh, it's really quite interesting as to why that happened. But I do love that for the Romans, to eat is to be. Uh, so this is, where, this is where we get the word edible from, though. Uh, compleo, complere, complevi, completum. Uh, this is to fill, and in this case, it's to fill a cup. So you're pouring it and filling it up. Um, but this is to fill something, okay? And this is where we get uh, complete or complementary. Uh, irumpo, irumpera, irupi, eruptum. Okay, this is just rumpo, rumpera with in in front of it. So you're bursting in, okay? Uh, and this is uh, where you get words like rupture uh, and, and things like that. Uh, the next video, we will turn the page and do the rest of those, and then there will be more vocab on page 53 as well. So, I'm going to hit the button.